Hey guys, Hal here. Uh, first up, apologies for the sound. I've listened to this back and it sounds like it's really quiet. Um, I've turned everything up to 11, but for some reason it still sounds like I'm really far away. But anyway, on to the good stuff. Uh, this is a preview of what's coming in the next couple of releases. Um, we're going to have to start replacing the functionality that was once in the editor with the BBB commands and this is what's going to replace it. So let's have a look. This is the world editor screen. Uh, you've got the central map in the area, you've got stuff around the sides, don't worry about the layout at the minute, it's all the work in progress. Uh, so let's connect to the server, show you what it does. if it'll connect to the server. Let's try again. Already connected to another server. No, I'm not. There we go. Random. Okay. I need to <laughs> eat. So there we go, uh, we're in the world, we can now connect to the server, this is done through uh, listening to a port, uh, just like the Telnet stuff, uh, on this I'm actually using the same as the Telnet port because I don't really use that. So let's show you the map, let's first of all, let's take this out of the way. So just a little map at the minute, just of a test, but this all uh, load as you go, so any chunks that have already been loaded into the game, this will get back for you. Uh, you've got the map view here, which is like the player map, uh, to give you an overview of the world, or you can drop down to the individual blocks, um, see what's in the world, let's come up, there we go. This, So this is the uh, city that you're in now, and these are all the buildings, you can zoom right in and have a look at what's there. At the minute it's not referencing or not showing you what the uh, what the actual blocks are, but that's something I can add in later. Uh, if we zoom right in, you can zoom to a player by double clicking on the name and it'll put it somewhere around the middle. Uh, you can also have a look at where the loot is on the map or just on the layer that you're showing on the world. Uh, you can have a look what's inside the containers. So I've got a container here. Let's bring the game back down. So I've got a container here. I've got some stone in it. You can have a look what's in the item. So you see we've got stone there. You can add new stuff in. You can take the old stuff out. And next time you look in it, Hey, it's changed. So there we go. That's one of the new stuff. And uh, what else have we got? Uh, let's go back to player map. Uh, you can check out what the player is doing. So you can see what's in their inventory. Uh, there's the wedges we just picked up. Uh, you can't alter this at the minute because there's no functionality in the game to actually set or remove items from the player. But hopefully that will be coming in uh, when TFP... TFP? Yeah. Uh, when TFP get around to it. Uh, this is some anti-cheat stuff that I was looking at, but hopefully with the 9.2 release that won't be needed. Uh, yeah, nothing new to refresh there. Uh, what else have we got for you? Uh, oh yeah, let's. Um, so we, you can now alter the world by bringing in prefabs. Uh, so we've got a list of all the prefabs that are listed on the world here. Let's bring the apartment in. So here it is. Uh, let's drop it a couple of layers. And insert to world. Now in the game, you should start to see it come in. There we go.
So it's a brand new install. All the containers are gettable. Uh, so you prefab builders will now be able to test your stuff in the random world without having to wait for a POI spawn. Uh, if you need to regenerate it, unfortunately there's no regeneration method, so let's just get rid of that and let's show you another thing. You can refresh the area and that will show you any changes that have happened in the meantime. Uh, but say we don't want the build in there, you can now reset the chunks and you'll see it disappear again. So what this actually does is revert it back to the original uh, seed so whatever was there when you first encountered the chunk will regenerate so you can use it for uh, resetting player areas or the central map if you want new loot or whatever like that. Uh, what else have we got for you? There's a couple more things but I'm still coding half of it, so I'm not going to show it. Uh, but yeah, this is a quick preview. Uh, should be coming pretty soon. Cheers.